All right, did you come escape? And this is my YouTube channel. Today is just going to be a short video on the Rockstar Pro 2. All I'm going to do today is just to demonstrate how you can set the light and the screen brightness, how you can put timer on it to go dim. That's what we're going to do today. So if you don't know, I hope that this video will help you to get your way around how to set the light. So let's dive in. All right, guys. So what I did is that I set my Rockstar Pro in a way that I set my timer on this on 30 seconds and it's going to go dim after 30 seconds if I don't touch it. If I push up the fader, it light up back. And the light you're seeing right now, that is the brightness level that I set for the light. And the reason why I'm doing this video is for those that actually get confused with the light that they are too bright. And when any one of these is on mute, the light are just, the, the, they're just too bright that you don't know which one is on mute, okay? Two ways you can know that they're on mute is if you set this light, if you look at mine now, my mute is actually brighter than the rest of the button. That is how I set the light. And the second way you understand is that on the screen, it's just going to show that red is going to show on the corresponding channel that you mute on. And if you press solo, the green is going to come on on the corresponding uh, channel, okay? You can actually set your light to make you know which of these buttons are mute or solo, all right? And to do that, you go to the settings, okay? When you go to the settings, you go to your display, okay? When you press, press on display, you go to brightness. And when you go to brightness, these are all you're going to get on the brightness. You have your auto, you have display, and you have uh, buttons. The display actually works for the screen. And now that it's green, you can change the display with the rotary knob, how, you know, like the intensity of the brightness, you can actually change it from here. And you put timer on it. If you want 30 seconds, one minute, you have five minutes, you have 15 minutes, all the way to never go dim. Okay. Now the second button here is the one that actually work with the buttons right here. So when you choose the buttons, you have three options. The first option is going to give you both. When you choose both, whatever intensity you control here is going to affect the active one and inactive one and what they mean by active one is that right now none of these buttons are active because if i press this one now you see what, what i'm trying to let you understand is that active button means that any button that you press if you press the solo that is active. If you press this, that is active. But none of this is active now. So you have inactive and you have active. And you have both. So if you choose both, the intensity will actually affect the brightness of either the active button or those that are not active. It's going to, the brightness is going to be the same. If you choose inactive, inactive means that whatever brightness you control here is going to affect the brightness level of buttons that are not pressed, that are not active. Just like so. It's going to affect them. Active means that whatever brightness you control here is going to affect buttons that are active. If you want to set the intensity for active button, you make sure you press one of these buttons, okay? Make sure you press one of them to light up and that will help you to set the intensity. So once you press one button here, then you come to active, then you increase or you decrease. Now I decrease, now I increase. So I set the level to the highest brightness on the active. Once that one is done, I can deselect. Now my button is set, then you go back to inactive and you can increase a little bit so that it will not compete with this one. So this is the active light right now. I want to increase the button, the intensity of the inactive 
but I don't want the brightness to be as bright as the active one. And I'll just go a little bit and see the light coming up. It's coming up. Once you are satisfied with the brightness and be sure that it's not competing with the active, then you stop. And like this, it's okay for me. I like it this way. It's not too bright. Now, when you are done, you can now set timer on it, okay? If you don't want it to go dim, you set to never. If you want 30 minutes, but in my own case, I set it to 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, I want the light to go dim, okay? And that is how I set my dim and brightness on the screen, okay? And once you're done with it, you just get out, okay? So let's assume I, the channel three, I mute the channel three. This is the brightness of all the light. And at, after 30 seconds, the light, everything, they're gonna go dim. So just look at it in 30 seconds and see what happened. So right now, the light just go dim. And if you look at all the light right here, this is the only one that is coming on bright, the level and intensity of my brightness, and that will help me identify which button is active and which button is not active. Just look at this one now. You see, this is brighter than the rest. And if I touch the screen or move the fader, it's come back on. You see, that's how I set it. And still look at it. It's the brightest light. Just look at that green. It's the brightest of them. So that's how I set it. All right, guys. So if you still need more explanation on this, just leave a comment below and I will get back to you. But just for you to be sure that you can set the intensity of the light to suit your need. In my own case, this is how I set it. I put my timer on 30 seconds. First thing you need to do is that do not press any button here. Go on the screen and choose the inactive and decrease the light to zero. Okay. Once you're done with that, press the choose the active button and you come down here and you press one of these buttons to be active. The light is still going to go, like it's not going to be bright. Then you come to the rotary. After you choose active, you increase the intensity until this light comes bright. and increase it all the way to 100%. Okay? Once you are done with that, do not depress this. Leave it there active. The light is going to be there bright. Then you go back to the inactive. You press it again and you increase the intensity of the inactive a little bit. Since the active one is on, you increase this, the active inactive to the point that you are satisfied and be sure the brightness is not competing with the active button. And once you get to a satisfactory level, you stop and you are done. Now you can set the timer however you want. And that is how I set my, I hope this video helped you guys. All right, guys, so that's going to be my time on this one. I believe you find this information useful. Please do subscribe if you are yet to and share the video so that others can see it. Until next time, stay blessed. Bye-bye.